ABG, an acronym for Asian baby girl, meaning an Asian female gangster. ABGs like to hang with gangsters and wear thin, slutty clothing. They like to jump other girls who talk shit and make out with their boyfriends 24 seven. Maybe even have sex. <gasps> Usually own sidekicks who also like to text frequently. ABGs also normally have a ride or die homie. Someone who is always down for them or die trying. ABGs are also known for dyeing their hair a lot, from blonde to black. They may have many piercings, multiple on the ears and stomach slash lip. They probably have teased hair, bangs, and have had extensions at one point or another. Could also have painted nails and tattoos. ABGs are super hot, but you'd probably get jumped if you tried to hit on them. They also loiter and hang out past curfew. In case it wasn't already obvious, I'm Asian and I'm a girl, but am I an Asian baby girl? No, um, I don't think I'm super whitewashed, but I'm also not an Asian baddie. So basically the point of this video is I'm gonna be transforming my whitewashed 50% visco girl self into an ABG. And if you don't know what that stands for, it's Asian baby girl. I forgot to even introduce myself. Hey guys, my name's Shauna. Subscribe to join the Shawty fam. I probably should have done at the beginning of the video, but you know what, it's fine. So I got this video idea from Lynn Truong. I will have her video linked down below in her channel. She did an epic ABG baddie transformation. I was inspired, I was moved, I was motivated to transform my little Asian bean self into a little Asian bean baddie. So I did some research yesterday because I had nothing better to do. So they're obsessed with boba. They wear very thin clothing, heavy makeup, expensive of brand names, tattoos, cat wing eyeliner, a very black and white scheme with their outfits, sparkly deep brown eyeshadow, thick brows, nude lips, nude nails. So the only things on this list that I qualify for is drinking a lot of boba. That's kind of the only thing I got going for me on this list, so we got a lot to change. There are two parts of this transformation that I'm not physically going to do. I'm going to do some photoshopping because clearly um, I don't have any tattoos and my hair has highlights but I don't have any crazy colors in my hair like bleach, silver, pink, purple, whatever that you see in a lot of ABGs. So I'm going to also photoshop that in my photos. So the makeup is kind of going to be the biggest thing and the outfit. I think we should just start. Step one would be Z makeup, but this is gonna be the most intense makeup I've ever done in my entire life because like I want to be an Asian baddie Is that not too much to ask for? So I whipped out my fat thing of makeup. I don't know if you guys want to see it I usually don't ever take this out. This is my whole entire makeup collection Whatever's in this bag is like my go-to everyday makeup and I literally have nowhere fun to go today So I'm literally getting ready for this video and for an Instagram picture. And then I'm gonna take it all off. Their brows are always on point, and my brows are never on point. Um, I'm just gonna try and make them very thick looking and dark looking. Way darker than I usually do. Look at- <laughs> Let me do the other side. Guys, my dog's here. Everybody say, hi, Stitch. Do you wanna do a transformation too? You wanna be an ABD, an Asian baby dog? Aww. Yeah. I usually never do my brows this dark. They look kind of crazy, but I think when I do the other makeup, they'll look a little less crazy. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. There's like black stuff inside. Is that still safe to use? I feel like this makeup is too old to use, but I don't have any other foundation. Oh, 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 it's super watery. I don't remember it being this watery. Does makeup expire? I actually have, I have no idea. I haven't opened it in a solid pot, honestly, four years. I'm just gonna, more than four, probably five years. My skin already looks smoother, so I guess it didn't expire. Or maybe it did and it's better expired. I think I'm gonna apply some extra concealer wherever I have like acne scars. I can already feel my skin getting so oily. That's one of the main reasons I just hate wearing any type of face makeup. Honestly, makeup in general, just because my face is so oily that like, the second I put it on, it just starts to melt off. So hopefully that powder will help. Um, I don't have cheekbones, so I'm going to draw them on. I'm like trying to, trying to do what I remember from the last, um, I don't even know. I don't really watch makeup people anymore. I used to a lot when I was like 16, 17. I used to watch so many makeup, like YouTubers, and there was a phase on my channel where I thought I was a, meant to be a makeup guru, but that 
phase did not last very long. So the main eye color that I've seen in all these pictures is like deep browns and golds, kind of just looking natural, like a natural goddess, basically. So I'm gonna try and look like a natural goddess. I don't even know, this is the exact same palette I've been using on my channel for the past three years. But like, I don't know when you do an eye, like when you do eyeshadow, you know how like a lot of people, they do the one eye, they finish it, and then they go to the other eye. But like, I literally, if I'm using the light brown, I'm gonna put the light brown on both. Like I do both at the same time. Like I do my eyes simultaneously, kind of save some time. Here, let me bring you guys in. Ooh, somehow they make it go up. Oh, that looks. <laughs> I wish I didn't bring you guys closer. Oh, this side's worse. <laughs> oh my god. Don't think that's how the ABGs do it, Shauna. Okay, it kind of looks like I got punched in the face. Like I actually don't understand. Like your your eyelid like folds. Like how do people do cool stuff? But from a distance, it actually looks kind of good. Cat wing. It's just like this looks so bad. How do people do eyeliner so nice? I look so sc I hate oh, oh I hate this I hate this. Are you joking? The eyeliner is melting off my face, so that's fun. Are you kidding me? So ABGs are apparently super dewy and glowy all the time. So we are going to pack on the highlighter. I don't know how I feel about this whole look yet. It's, I, I think I messed it up. I found this nude lip liner thingy, so I'm going to use it. All right, guys, here is the finished makeup look. The lighting is kind of weird in this room, but we got the nude lip. I don't know how I, f mm. I look really weird. I'm uncomfortable. Now we need to pick our outfit. But luckily, my sister, she's like borderline ABG, I think. So we're gonna just go through her closet. So here are some inspo picks that I kind of went off of. I found this white tube toppy corset thingy. Cause apparently ABGs love to show a lot of skin and boobs. Um, and I found two black jeans. I don't know the difference between these two. And then for jewelry, I think I'm gonna layer a bunch of jewelry, put on some big hoops, and I will be back. Guys, I do not feel like me right now. I feel really weird. I feel very exposed. I don't know, I, mm, I'm just gonna cover that all with my hair. I don't know how I feel. ABGs do not wear scrunchies. No, we have graduated from Visco Girl to Cooker? I don't I feel re really weird, but I'm gonna go take some IG pics now and then we can work on photoshopping the tattoos and the hair because I don't like this at all. Okay, bye. What the f Who in the hell put the muffins in the freezer? Alright, my dudes. I feel so uncomfortable. Like, I don't feel like me right now. This is so weird. I did not go get long acrylic nails because that would literally make me cry. Just, I can't do fake nails. So I painted my nails this faded um, matte, like, nude peachy color, which if they were long, they would have looked like ABG nails, but it makes me cringe. Same with fake lashes. So I obviously just put mascara, as you saw. But I just took the pictures outside. I also used this purse for some pictures. I got it for work. Um, it's like a Michael Kors, what is it called? Satchel bag, is that what they're called? I look like a paid actor right now. I don't look like me, this is weird. But now we are going to edit the pictures to throw in some tattoos, maybe add some colored hair. Really just bring out the whole ABG look. I just downloaded this app called Tattoo You and apparently you can add tattoos to your photos. So flowers. Ooh, a rose. I think I'm gonna put a rose on each side. Okay, what else? Tattoos, there's butterflies, dragons. Dragon might be cool. So now to add some color in my hair, I downloaded the app Facetune. I know I can do this all in Photoshop and I literally have my earring has been chilling in my hair. <sighs> so we are going to add some pink. Ooh, okay, should I just do my whole head pink? This is so bad. I literally have an iPad and an Apple Pencil to do this, but I'm choosing to use Facetune on my phone because I want to wrap up this video so I can take all this off. The moment you've all been waiting for. Can we get a, get a little drum roll, please? Shauna editing this. From a basic whitewashed visco girl to 
an AVG. Here's our completed look. Yes, I cheated and used Facetune and sketchy tattoo apps, but I don't feel like me right now. This is not something I would wear. Maybe to like a club or something if I'm really just trying to hang loose. I don't even know what they say at clubs. Yeah, this isn't really me and no shade towards anyone who is an ABG or I don't know if people actually classify themselves as that or if it's just like kind of a meme. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they all look bomb and they are killing it. It's just not me. Like it doesn't reflect my personality. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up because this is probably the most out of my comfort zone I've ever done in my entire life. I just don't look like me. I look so, like I'm looking in the viewfinder right now and I just don't recognize what I see and it's really freaking me out. I feel very uncomfortable, but it's also really fun to just step out of your comfort zone. Here are today's shoddy shout outs of this video. Thank you guys so much for your comments and your DMs and edits and everything. They make me so happy. This is really uncomfortable and it's making me just like, like curl up in a ball. This is literally a paid actor. I don't know, this is really weird. It's making me uncomfortable. Okay, bye.